going to be sharing the story of how we met I will start by sharing a little bit about my past relationship three years ago I was in Nigeria being a banker I was always busy because I was a cashier working in the bank I work on weekends some days because sometimes I would be rotated like two weekends in a month to ensure that the cash machine at the bank is dispensing cash to customers over the weekend that makes me work two weekends out of four because I only have two weekends that I'm free in a month those two weekends are always precious to me I barely have time to socialize those weekends I'll use them to do laundries to do cooking and to do some cleaning and also to catch up on some sleep because of that I wasn't in a relationship at the time because I barely have time to attend events go out with friends which would have been an avenue for me to meet someone and probably start a relationship with the person in 2018 a friend of mine came to visit me while I was in Nigeria she realized I wasn't dating she stayed with me for about two months and then she said you are not in a relationship you're always home what's going on and I said I wasn't seeing anyone at the time so she then introduced me to online dating she said because of my busy schedule if I join online dating I would be able to meet someone and hopefully start a relationship I joined the online dating site I met people we started talking I joined about two dating sites then. I joined Afro Introduction and I joined Christian Dating. I met a lot of people on that online dating and we started talking. I joined it in April 2018 and in June I met someone that lives in America. We started talking since June 2018. Three weeks into the relationship after we met, we decided that we were going to delete our profile on Afro Introduction. So I deleted my profile. We became exclusive. We started talking, but we didn't meet. We continued our relationship since 2018 he will keep promising me that he will come to see me in june 2018 when we met he told me he was going to come see me in october 2018 october came he didn't come to see me he told me financial reasons in december 2018 he promised me he was going to see me he didn't come in february 2019 he promised me he was going to come like valentine's period he didn't come it continued like that it was like a trend i continued that relationship like that until 2021 when I moved to study in the UK. While I was in the UK in 2021, I continued that relationship. I was very happy because I'm now in the UK and I felt that it would be closer for him to come see me while I'm in the UK. But he still then come. In 2022, a year, I had a discussion with him. We've been doing this for the past four years. What's going on? And one of my... I've always imagined that I would get married, start a family, and we've been doing this for four years, what's going on? Then he told me he did not see himself getting married, at least not anytime soon. That was when he dawned on me that he was not going to come see me. We were still friends, I wasn't upset, but I appreciated that he was open to me he told me that he was not going to get married which was one of the things that i looked forward to in a relationship after he told me he didn't see himself getting married i realized that it was time to move on i told him that i want to get married and since he's not looking forward to get married or have a family anytime soon that i was going to move on and then he said he completely understand his relationship ended in april 2023 i decided to go on to the dating site again i registered to online dating site. so my story began from my country over there i had a relationship of three years which was not working in the end from there i come in ireland to work here in ireland i have a relationship with a girl which lasts almost one year in the final was not working again for us i said i will stop searching physically and i'll try something new i'll try dating site i find let's say was pretty good i pay of course i find her she was not answering from the first time i needed to insist with few messages till she answered me and in the final she answered so here we are <laughs> 
after I created an account again in April 2023, I just created that account and I didn't check back in because I was very busy with work in May 2023. I seen loads of notifications. I decided to log on to the website to check the messages I've got and I saw that I've got loads of messages. What attracted me to his own message was that he sent me the message like three days after I created that profile in April and every day he would <laughs> come online and send me messages. The first message he sent was like, hi, I really like your profile. I'm Gabriel. I'm from Ireland. Please, I would like to have your number. Can you send me your WhatsApp number? And after that, every day for about six weeks, he would log on to the website and send me messages. Hello, have I noticed you're not online? Hello, is everything okay? Hello, please, when you do see my message, can you send me your number? Hello, how are you? Hello. I saw those messages and I was like, why is this guy really consistent in these messages? That's interested me i wanted to know the kind of person he was that did not give up for the six weeks that someone is not responding so i sent him my number almost immediately it was as if he was online or he got my notification he received messaged me on whatsapp and told me i'm this i'm gabriel from this website you just gave me your number and we started talking i saw her profile her beautiful pictures her stunning beauty attracted me so much, so I said I need to start communicating with her to know her better. So that's why I was insisting with messages and looking forward to talk with her. After he sent me that message, we started talking on WhatsApp. He asked me three days later, when am I free, that he would really like to come to the UK to see me. I checked my rota and told him that the next time I will be free for longer than two days would be October because I've booked my holiday for the year but that would have been five months later so We started talking like was it the Monday of the week and on Thursday he messaged me and he realized that I was home I wasn't working and he asked me why I wasn't working I told him that I had issue from work and I was going to be home for the next few weeks he was very excited he booked his flight to come see me that Thursday on Friday he came from Ireland to see me in the UK. I went to the airport to receive him. He told me the first time he would come to see me, he was going to cook his traditional meal for dinner. When he got to where I live that Friday evening, he asked if there was any European food shop nearby. I took him to one. He, he bought some recipe. He he came back home, he started cooking from 7 p.m. until midnight, 12. He was still cooking. I was wondering, what is he cooking in my kitchen for so long? I even left him to go and sleep because I was very tired. He was still cooking. After the meal was ready, he came to call me, set the table, and we had the meal together it was very delicious but so that was the first time i was eating that meal because it cooked like beef with wine he used wine to marinate it with some chips and some bread so <laughs> it was really delicious and i was impressed because he had booked an airbnb the reason why he came to cook at my place was because the airbnb was like 20 minutes away from where i live after we had the dinner he went back to his airbnb to spend the night the next morning i was home that was saturday he came to me and we went to his airbnb he also went to tesco tesco is like the shops where we buy things like a supermarket also cooked another meal that saturday i wanted to cook but i said no don't worry i just relax i want to cook for you he really wanted to impress me and i said why not if someone wants to impress me and don't want me to cook he wants to cook why not let me enjoy the the moment and enjoy the meal so i went with him to the supermarket he got things he came he cooked lunched for us we had lunch we had dinner and when it was evening i told him that i wanted to go back to my place to spend the night while he was at his airbnb so he told me that we needed to go to tesco again to buy things the first day when he came at the airport he got me flowers we went back to tesco at tesco he bought flowers he bought a bottle of wine and i was wondering that why do you need to buy flowers the one you bought for me 
a day before it's still fresh and he said no that he needs to buy another flower from Tesco I was expecting us to come back to my place said no that he forgot something at the Airbnb it needs to go get we went back to Airbnb I trick her with the flowers I trick her with a bottle of wine we head to the accommodation I have prepared everything for her to propose her I have my ring in my bag I got the flowers the wine just remaining for me to record and propose I took the ring I set the camera I took the flowers I proposed her uh, she wouldn't expect I wanted to be a big surprise and to get a positive answer I succeed to propose her after we got the flowers and the wine from Tesco, we went back to the Airbnb. I realized that he set his camera. It seemed to me that he was recording me. And I asked him, are you recording me? And he then brought out the ring from his pocket and he proposed to me. At first, I was shocked because this person, we were just meeting for... We've only met for that week and... <laughs> For one week and I'm wondering, this is the first time we've met. I was a bit skeptical, surprised and I had mixed feelings like why so fast, what's going on here and all of that. I thing. was so attracted by you from your pictures, style, from everything. So I said I don't need to let anyone else. I was in a rush to show her I want to settle down with her and I want for her to be mine. Oh. <laughs> I understand now on my profile on the dating site I wrote that I'm looking to meet someone who is ready to start a family and to settle down yes. <laughs> Gabriel felt he needed to propose to me just in case I have been talking to someone else on the dating site and he didn't he, he didn't want someone else to propose to me first so after he proposed to me that night I went back to my place to spend the night the following day we went out to town for a meal and we took some pictures together and the Monday he went back to Ireland after that we continued talking on the phone in June but he came to see me no for the first time we didn't enjoy the goodies they said we just got to know ourselves and I was still worried I I wasn't too sure it was too fast for me so I needed to take my time so that after he came to see me in June he then said that we need to start planning about our wedding and marriage he sent an email to the registry where I live and they said yes we can get married in the UK we booked an appointment for us to give notice in the UK the process for getting married in the UK would make a video a detailed video about that so just keep an eye on our page we gave the notice and our marriage was approved we booked a date for 25th November 2023 to get married. We started the marriage plans. In July, when he came to see me, he also traveled to see his parents to let them know that he was getting married to me and also to introduce me to his parents. I did video call with his parents. I spoke to his mom and his parents are really loved. One of the days where <laughs> while he was there, every day where we would speak on video call, I would speak to his parents and his mom was very lovely one of the days he just told me that his mom is here and his mom wants to say hello to me and i wasn't putting on a wig i was just on my braids i was loosening my braids and when he told me his mom wants to say hello so i quickly rushed to wear my wig like to look good and all that i didn't know his mom was already on the video looking at me i was laughing so when i saw i said ah, sorry she said no 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 and you don't need to put on the wig I like the hair and she said look can I see so I removed the wig and she saw it. she said wow your hair is very nice and soft so she liked the hair and we, we I spoke to her she told me that she has been to Africa she told me she brought her map and she was showing me countries in Africa that she has visited for holiday and also she told me about some African meals that she enjoyed and she also showed me about some when she was cooking she would show me what she's cooking and tell me the names and all of that so while he was there I enjoyed speaking to his parents anytime he would call me he keeps coming to see me every like 
once in a month concerning the bride price when it was time for us to officially get married in the uk i had to tell him that being african he would need to pay the bride price i told him even if we get married here in the registry in the uk i'm technically not married until he had paid the bride price i said checked for videos of some white men that got married to african women and videos of when they paid the bride price he watched and understood the process of so bride price. for me the bride price is still strange i have an idea about the bride price but i didn't know it's like buying something so <laughs> in my culture both families are meeting speaking agreed and that's it you can go on but in african traditions like paying the bride price taking the girl from the parents it's a little bit more complicated but i'm happy because i paid the bride price and i take her well, the first time I explained to him about the bride price, he was like, So, am I buying you? I said, Of course, you are not buying me. <laughs> you are not buying me. <laughs> it's a cultural fulfillment. I'm technically not married until you have to do it. He was very happy. He was open. Anything I tell him, we have to do this. He will ask me how much is it. For the bride price, we didn't have to travel. They sent him the list. They interpreted it. The monetary equivalent he sent it over they had the marriage on our behalf he was on video call with them we were watching the marriage and everything went well in terms of the bride price the app we met on is called interracial dating central proud to that app i've been on afro introduction that was where i met my previous relationship the wedding plans gabriel was all about bringing money paying for things i was the event planner if I, <laughs> if i tell gabriel we need to look for hall we need to look for dj we need to get keshua he will tell me how much is the dj how much for the hall all he was concerned about is the money and for him to send me the money for it he was not concerned if i've gotten the dj and if i've paid that was none of his business even his suit I had, to, <laughs> I had to be the one to pick the colors i have to be the one to go look choose the suit and then you say how much is that so he wasn't really concerned about the details all he was concerned about is how much is it let me send it to you sort it out <laughs> so. for me the things in the life are simple for me everything would be in a different ending going to the registry serving some food some drinks everyone happy few guests and that's it in the nature for me it's very simple but the women's are women's <laughs> okay so i put effort in planning the wedding and everything went well how is with the bride price imagine you are a white man you enter an african store you see her she's sealed she's everything she have the price over there you buy it from there from that store you don't even need the receipt they have pepe in everything in their sweets water in everywhere they have pepe look out for the black women's because they are spicy <laughs> <laughs> the thing is I am joking this is just my opinion attention if you have been deceived before by the white woman and you still want to try something new choose a black girl because they are lovely they are caring no relationship it's perfect and without fights that means if you don't fight each other you don't care each other I'm happy to have a black girl my advice is if you are still alone search for a black girl meet a black girl pay the bride price and enjoy the life on her side they are natural and lovely black women out there still looking to meet someone and start a relationship with someone from my experience i would say that if you're on dating site clearly communicate your intentions and your desires with the person you're chatting with don't be like me that was in a relationship for years without meeting the person 
three months is more than enough time to make concrete plans of him coming to see you or you going to see him. I believe it's after you've met that relationship can truly move forward. For example, when I told Gabriel that the next time I'll be free would be in October, if that was the first time we were meeting, probably wouldn't have been married in November. Our marriage would have been moved to next year. And a lot of things can happen in between that time. I would have met someone else, he would have met someone else. If he's not ready to come see you because of financial issues or uh, work is related issue, he's busy, you're busy, and all of that then you can freely move on to someone else I believe that dating should have a goal but don't give up the first time I joined online dating was about 2018 and it took me was it about six years for me to get married off dating site and one of the reason why it took me this long was because I spent four years with someone that the relationship didn't move further and we didn't even get to meet until today be patient be consistent and still be hopeful that you will meet someone I believe there's someone out there for everyone and when you meet the right person you would know be consistent in logging on to your online profile because the way the online algorithm works is for example if a man is searching for women if you're online your profile will come top the list if you've been online for the past 24 hours it will come on underneath if you've been online for the past two days your profile will be on the so it's like that if you've been online for like two weeks it will be underneath so the more frequent you log on the more the your profile come top the list for when men are searching if you're in like me the way i was doing i'll log in and then the next six months I won't log in anymore that means your profile will just be down the page and it will be difficult for men to see you because your profile is not coming top there so don't ask men for money try to get to know them I've the men I've met online I've they've given me money but it wasn't like I just asked for it two weeks after we started talking some of them would just give it to me after we've been talking for a few months or so or a few weeks they like just don't ask for money and above all be serious one of the things Gabriel told me was that when he met two people before he met me when he asked them for their mobile number they told him that can we chat on this online dating site for a bit longer i understand you if you want to continue on the dating site but some men that are serious you feel like why do you want to continue on the dating site is it that you had intention of speaking to other people and if someone asks for your number if what that can happen is you give them your number and you don't like them you can still block them after that but if a man requests for your number you're on there to get to meet someone just give it to them and look out for those asking for inappropriate pictures or look out for those um, asking for was fetish <laughs> request and you can easily block those ones thank you very much for watching and uh, we've got instagram profile which is Sinto and gabriel Sinto and gabriel and we have a youtube page which, which is Sinto and gabriel please subscribe to our channel our wedding video is also on our youtube channel so do, feel free to watch thank you so much and we'll